first of all, I want to thank Rachel. She's going to take on one of the most important jobs that we have, which is energy for all. And as I said to her in the beginning of the evening, she certainly gives us energy. And uh, we need to support her on this. Then on uh, UNAP, we have Achim here, and he's doing an incredible job to uh, make this organization have a real impact. And again, I can only endorse the, uh, what he's doing, but also the full support that he deserves. I'd like to just simply give this award or dedicate this award to the people who couldn't be here tonight because they're either too hungry, didn't make it past the eights of five, or didn't have a chance like all of us to go to school and participate in the workforce. I think this is a small reminder this week of why we're here and why we have the SDG. The Pope was talking about many things and one of the things he was talking about was the moral framework that we have to put in place which is the SDG, probably the only chance we have to have a global moral framework and certainly gets my energy and attention. But he also talked about the declarationist environment, as the translator was saying in my ear at least, when he read the thing, in his gen when he talked to the General Assembly. He understands better than we do that no reputation is built on what people say, but more importantly on what people do. And I find it a little awkward to take this incredible honor when we still have 15 years to go. It should really be done probably 15 years from now and judge what we actually do. Hubert Reeve, a philosopher, said that man is the most insane species. He worships an invisible God, destroys the visible nature, not realizing that the visible nature he destroys is the same God he's worshiping. And I think it boils down to what we are doing. We have a unique opportunity to address one of the major challenges in about eight weeks' time, which is, as Achim already referred to, the COP21 in Paris. Momentum is building. The INDCs, or the individual targets that are coming in from the countries, are probably higher than anybody could have expected uh, one or two years ago. But we still have eight weeks to go. And I encourage everybody, everybody, to keep the pressure on to get the most ambitious agreement we can get. Business increasingly understands that there is no business case in enduring poverty. Business increasingly also understands that they cannot be a bystander anymore in a system that gives them life in the first place. Momentum is building. We get a thousand companies that signed Rachel's call from the World Bank to put a price on carbon. We have 400 companies that have an internal price on carbon. 700 more waiting. Momentum is building and it sends a very strong signal to the um, people negotiating the final stretch for Paris. I'm lucky. I'm lucky to be here with you because I was born in the Netherlands. I could go to school, could go to university. Yes, made it past the eights of five. But that's not the case for 98% of the population in this world still. I'm lucky as well to have the honor to chair an enormous company that has a reach and impact that goes way beyond many others in this world. And if you are that lucky and have that possibility, it is your duty, in my opinion, to put yourself to the service of the other 98%. Viktor Frankl. Viktor Frankl, in his book, Man's Search for Meaning, very simply said, when they built the Statue of Liberty on the east coast of the United States, they forgot to build the Statue of Responsibility on the west coast. We have an enormous liberty to operate in all the countries of the world, 190 countries, reaching 2 billion consumers a day. But by doing so, we should also be aware of our responsibility, a simple responsibility to irreversibly eradicate poverty in a more sustainable and equitable way. Any system where too many people still feel that they are not participating or are excluded, which is still the case today, will ultimately rebel against itself, and we see that more and more. It's a great celebration this week in New York. It's a great celebration here tonight. But I do hope that we can all come back here in 15 years' time and simply say we did it. Thank you very much.